Line up, ladies. Take what you need from the bus and leave your bags inside. Whoa, this school is so big. Way bigger than Clement. And it smells better, too. Well, I hope they don't let fire into this building, because it would. Get it? <laughs> That's a good one, Quinn. But seriously, this place is so cool. I can't wait to go inside. I wonder what their typical male students look like. Clover, get your head out of the gutter and move along, please. You guys are holding up the line. Sorry. <sighs> oh man, I can't breathe. Stop that. Are they there yet? Can you see them? Our ex-friends? Be quiet. Attention students, welcome to Woodridge. We hope your travels have been great so far, and we are so happy to see you all here today. Now, before we head into the assembly hall, we would like all of you to form groups of four so our student leaders can give you a little tour of the school before we begin. And now, you will all be given a tour, leader, and I am sure you are all in good hands. It's Leo! Shut up! <gasps> Who's the blondie? Shush, he'll hear you. Hello there, I'm Leo, your school tour guide for today. Hi! Uh, I'm Clover. <laughs> Poppy, student body president. Quinn. I'm Hart. She told my other best friend, Leo, thinking his father would help mine. But as soon as Leo's father knew of the situation, he used it against my family. This must be River's ex-best friend, Leo. Huh. Nice to meet you guys. Our school's been really excited to have you over. Us too! I mean, we are all excited to see what Woodridge is all about. That's good to hear. Shall we? We shall. By the way, do you always smell like dark chocolate, or is this just a today thing? Clover! Hey, cuz. Ah, sorry, jump scare. Excuse me? Not even a hello? Oh, hey, Willow. Um, not gonna lie, I completely forgot I had a cousin here. Wow, thanks. River, it's so nice to have you back. I'm not back. Well, you're here, so... Well, not staying. I didn't say you were. Anyways, I'll be your guide's tour guide for today. Isn't that fun? We're gonna have so much fun together. Uh, for real? Uh-huh. Well, let's just go. Right this way, guys. You've got a friend in me I will always be your best friend till the end Whenever you want, lean on me I know I can count on you You'll be there for me, I'll be there too Any day, anywhere, just call my name I know you'll do the same This is the library. Whoa, I love the smell of old books. They made me sneeze. Our library collection has over 400,000 books available. Feel free to have a look. This is one of our lecture rooms. They are frequently used, but Principal Pilgrim reserved one just so we can have one displayed for the tour. This is making me want to move to Woodridge. I know, right? The science rooms are located here. We provide extra classes for geology, astronomy, psychology. What about herpetology? What the heck is that? The study of reptiles, I think. Correct. Just saying, if you do offer that class, I'm definitely transferring. <laughs> I've heard that before. Our school is the best in the whole area. Many students transfer after they tour the place, you know? This is just one of our general classrooms we have here in Woodridge. We know our way around this place already. Can't you just take us to the cafeteria? I'm starving. 
Dear cousin, I've been told to tell you around, and that's just simply what I'm doing. Still a goody two shoes, I see. What did you just say? Nothing, uh, nothing. And this is. Oh, sorry, I didn't notice there was another group here. It's all good, T. We were about to leave anyways. Oh, okay. So, anyways, we use these type of classrooms for any difficult classes like math or English. Anything that doesn't require a lab, honestly. And that's about it. Leo wasn't lying when he said Woodridge was the best. Some can easily say it was arguably better than Clements. They provided more classes and extracurricular activities, and the dark academia aesthetic made me feel like I was transported through time. They had collections of books that are exclusive to the school too. I was so immersed in imagining what it would be like to study here, I didn't notice I was left all alone, with no sign of my group. Um, Clover? Quinn? Poppy? Ow! Hey, watch it! Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't see you there. You lost or something? You look lost, you're lost, huh? Don't worry, me too. Um, isn't this your school? Yeah, but then again, if you blindfolded me and dropped me off at home, I wouldn't know where I am. Anyways, I usually wait for my girlfriend to find me. She usually knows where I am. Um, are you sure about that? Maybe I should try to go look for a teacher. I really don't want to get left behind. The assembly should be starting anytime now. Worry not, my friend. She'll find us. I'll go find a teacher now. Hold it. Listen. Wait. Morgan! What did I say? What did I say? I told you she'd find me. Chewy, I'm here! Morgan? I'm here! What are you doing? The assembly's about to begin. Yeah, yeah, I know. I just got lost. You're always lost. Oh, hi. Oh, this is, uh... What's your name again? My name is Hart, and um, I lost my group. Can you help me get to the assembly? Nice to meet you, Hart. I'm Tuesday. And yes, I was just looking for this one real quick. I do have to go to the assembly as soon as possible as well. Oh yeah, you have that speech. Oh shoot, what are you still doing here? You're gonna be late. Seriously? And you're telling me that? to especially welcome the Clement Academy freshman students to our school. I hope all students and teachers have had a smooth and easy journey on their way to Woodridge. This assembly, as all of you should know, is an annual event that commences the National Scholastic Tournament. May I please invite one of our student body presidents, Tuesday Devondale, to introduce the tournament. Welcome guests, teachers, and fellow students. The National Scholastic Tournament is an event where many Woodridge and Clement Academy students compete in a series of competitions that range from sports to academics. Selected students have the opportunity to participate and represent their school. This event is not only to determine the abilities and capabilities of students, but is also a tradition introduced by the school's founders. This year, the location of the tournament will be in Clement Academy. We are sending over select Woodridge students for the duration of the competition. Wait, they're staying at Clement? Yup. They're basically like exchange students. Last year, Clement sent over students to stay at Woodridge, and apparently they were pranked like every single day. And now, they get to come over to our turf. You know what that means? Revenge. Quinn! Sorry, jeez. They're just so smug and cunning and annoying. Shush, they'll hear you! I mean, they seem nice. Don't underestimate them, Hart. Say whatever you want about Woodridge. They make the meanest spaghetti I've ever tasted. Please! You've been the one slagging them off since we got here. So, Poppy, do you know who they've selected to compete at the tournament? No, but I can kind of tell who's in the running. Pray tell? Who? Oh. She just wants to know if Leo's been selected. Shut! How are you guys finding the food? Really great. Thanks for asking. It's so good. I'm about to get seconds. That's good to hear. So, uh, Leo, 
what's your star sign? Or were you named after your star sign? Uh, star sign? Sorry. Here. Thanks. I had no one to talk to but my girl. Girl? Yeah. Harp. <gasps> Harper? Oh yeah, I nearly forgot about that. It's so weird to think Harper and River were an item back then. I never would have guessed. And honestly, it's hard to imagine. Were they... nice to each other? I can't imagine Harper being nice at all. But if anyone has seen a nice Harper, I guess it would be River. I don't think River would go for someone who is mean. Was Harper always mean? Or did she become mean? Did River laugh more before all the problems he had? Did Harper make him laugh? I can't even picture it. But then again, it's not like I know them that well. And it's really none of my business. So, are you part of Woodridge's tournament team? Yeah. <laughs> that's amazing! I mean, that's great. <clears throat> Good for you. <laughs> We'll see you there, I guess. Um, um, Hart's part of our tournament team. Really? Uh-huh. That's great. We'll definitely see each other during the competition then. Have you guys done much practice? Why? Are you trying to gather intel? <laughs> no way. It's just that I've always wondered how they do things in Clement. Shouldn't be too different. We are sister schools, despite the whole rivalry thing. I guess I'll see for myself. I've never visited Clement before, but my mom did go there when she was in high school. Practically all our moms did. Oh yeah, because Clement was an all-girls school back then, right? Uh-huh. And Woodward was an all-boys school. Both schools decided to be co-owned around the same time a decade ago. Best decision they've ever made. <laughs> Creepola! Oh, yes, I heard he transferred to Woodridge. Andrew Perkins? Uh-huh. He was a total creep around Hart. Had her pictures all over his dorm room wall and everything. What? We suspected he snuck into our dorm room, too. That's insane. They never managed to prove that, though, so he didn't end up getting expelled. Just transferred here. You think with all those allegations, they'd at least warn us about him? Crazy Woodridge still accepted him after everything he did. Crazy what daddy's money can do. Or in his case, mommy's money. Ugh, mama's boys are such red flags. Thank you guys for visiting Woodridge. I hope you guys enjoyed today. Thanks for having us. Yeah, it was really fun. I, I can tour you around Clement when you visit, of course. <laughs> All right, I'll see you in a few weeks time. And I'll see you at the tournament. Leo! Uh, Mo, get off! Sorry, man. Oh, it's you. I guess you guys are leaving now, huh? Well, I hope you have a safe trip. We'll see you in a couple weeks. Uh, you're in the tournament? You sound surprised. I'm hurt. This guy? Seriously? He doesn't even know his way around his own school. That's our bus. I'll see you guys in two weeks then. Don't forget to practice hard. You wouldn't want to underestimate us. Bye! What? Well, cuz, I guess I'll see you in two weeks. It was nice seeing you again, River. Have a safe trip back, okay? Sure. I hope you guys had fun today. It was really nice. Thank you so much for showing us around. Well, I'll let you go now. Have a safe trip! Bye. Oh, she was literally so annoying all day. What do you mean? Can't you see for a better than thou facade, Isabella? Uh-huh. That's what I meant. Seriously. Let's just go. River! Chase! Hold on! Leo, just let them go, man. Wait! Hey! What do you want? I... Uh, how have you been? <laughs> how have I been? You seriously have the nerve to ask me that? Look, River. I'm sorry for how things turned out. You know it wasn't my intention- It doesn't matter what your intention was! Guys! Calm down! Come on, Leo. 
never gonna listen to us. So, how'd it go? Well, her parents still want her to go to that stupid pink school. <laughs> Who would ever want to do that? Everyone knows Woodridge on top. <laughs> I'm sure if she really wanted to be with you, she would fight to stay here. I suppose you're right. So, enough of the moping! <laughs> you know what? Last one at the courtyard buys everyone lunch. <laughs> Wait, I wasn't ready! 